Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, let me just refresh my Facebook feed so that I can see you all. Um, how's it going? What have you guys been up to? What have you been doing today on this fabulous Thursday? There we go, I can see you all now. How's it going? Um, I have been, what have I been doing today? Oh, I did some one-to-ones this morning. I had some fabulous uh, Harry Potter type drawings this morning, which were great. Um, they were really good fun, actually. So I've done quite a few of those. Um, and I've also been organising um, some more bits and pieces for VE Day for tomorrow. So I'm very excited about the celebrations tomorrow. It'll be really, really good. Um, how are we doing? Who have we got? Chris and Sophie. Hello, nice to see you. Glad you're joining in. Um, hi Imogen, nice to see you too. Um, hi Sue, been having lunch in the garden. Yeah, nice. It's been absolutely gorgeous. I must admit, I've had all the um, been working indoors today, but I've had all the windows thrown open. It's been it's been lovely, lovely and bright. Um, hi Joe, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, so I don't know if anybody's heard of, uh, and I was looking this up again last night because I knew about it a long time ago. Um, something called Action for Happiness. Now I follow them on Facebook and um, they have a Facebook page. I'm pretty sure they probably have an Instagram page as well. Um, and there's a website. So if you have a chance, have a look up Action for Happiness. And it's just such a lovely thing um, that people have put together about like random acts of kindness and stuff like that. But every month they have a, a calendar of different things um, and I think May is mind, mindful May, mindful May, something like that, meaningful May, meaningful May um, and today, it's the 7th of May, uh, so today, so they have something kind of for each day, let someone you love know how much they mean to you, so your challenge today, let someone that you love know how much they mean to you, so send them a little text message or write them a letter, post them a little little piece of artwork a um, little piece of mail art. Um, it's just such a lovely, if you get a chance, look it up, Action for Happiness. Um, they've got some beautiful, beautiful things. Um, hello Cheryl, you've joined us. <laughs> so, sorting groceries, are you doing lots of grocery shopping for other people? Um, yeah, I know a few people who are doing things like that. Um, hi Lynn. Hi Rosie and Edith. Well, I, I can do my Action Happiness now that uh, now that you guys are here. Um, so my action for happiness today, for my meaningful May, is to tell little Edith, who's watching, who's my niece, um, how much I love her, because I love you lots and lots, and you are just so crazy and weird and wonderful, and you make me laugh, and your little videos that mummy sends me are amazing, um, so I love you, that's how much you mean to me. So I've done my action for happiness today now, I can, I can be happy. So today, today we're doing end topic graphomania, <laughs> which is a little bit of a mouthful, um, but it's essentially a, a surrealist game to create abstract patterns. It's a way of starting some inspiration for a new piece of artwork. It's just something to get the mind going and looking for kind of patterns in things. So hopefully you guys have got some kind of... Um, page from an old book or a magazine or a newspaper, something with lots of words on. Um, and I'm going to use felt tips, I'm going to use coloured felt tips so I can really see the pattern that we're going to put on top of this. Um, and it's just about determining shape and form on the page, so it's great, it's really, really good, it's good fun. Um, <laughs> just seen a little Edith's message. So, we have, uh, I'm going to use a nice bright pink one. Um, who have we got? Who have we got? Oh, Olivia's just joined. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining. Um, so if you all grab your, your sheet of paper and then what we're going to do is set a few rules. So it might be a particular word or a particular type of word or it might be a letter in this, uh, in this page. So I'm going to kind of cheat slightly and use the word A <laughs> or the letter A. And I'm going to pick those up on the page and I'm literally just going to gonna circle them. So I'm going to drop this down so that you guys can see me. And for this one I'm using straight lines but you don't have to use straight lines for these. Um, there we go, so you guys can see that. Um, so I'm literally just going to circle all of the A's. 
the A's on their own, A is a word rather than every single A in the whole um, whole text because that would take me a while. Um, so you guys might pick a particular word if it's a if it's a magazine article about a particular subject, there might be a word that you can pick out that's in there quite a few times. Um, you might pick out a letter or types of words as well, actually. That might um, work quite well. So like I can just see in this one, there's a lot of countries mentioned in this passage. So um, I could have picked countries, actually. Uh, I think I've got... most of the A's and as I say it's just a way of finding pattern it's concerned I found all the A's so I have circled all of my A's it's entirely up to you whether you want to pick a particular word or a particular letter or a type of word along a theme and then I'm going to use a ruler for this one and I'm literally just going to Join these however I fancy over the top. That's quite a nice image there. And I can I'm literally just picking these randomly. I'm not I'm not even thinking about it. Um so the nice thing about this is that you don't have to think about it. <laughs> it's finding that shape and that form, and those new abstract designs without without um thinking too much. So it's a nice easy one today. <laughs> there we go. I think that's all of them. Oh, I've missed one. I've missed one. <laughs> There's two really close together. right so that is my finished form that is my finished piece so what you could do is you could either leave it on there and you could use it to start painting on top of that so you could use watercolor paints um if you wanted to see the the text underneath or if not you could use something like acrylic paints or gouache and you can use these forms to it to inspire your abstract painting that's going to be on top of this it might be that you want to trace it so you could trace this one and then just have it as a single pattern and then put it on top of a canvas or or on a different piece of paper um it's entirely up to you so i'm gonna um i'm gonna do another one here i might switch color switch up the color um how are you guys getting on with yours how are they looking um, I know it's very, it's a bit alien this because you're doing all kind of abstract designs and abstract um, processes. Um, I'm going to use countries and um, mm -hmm. continents in here. This mug, I might just use little circles actually rather than big things. How are you getting on? <laughs> Imogen's loving my headband. Thank you very much. Thank you. My nice shiny silky headband. I've um I've been getting out all of the the scarves for tomorrow. Um I need to tie them all together to make my bunting. Still need to do that. Let's do that today. So what have you decided to pick? I'm using countries in this one. Oh, obviously the other one I used A. What have you picked? Do you know what book this is from? <laughs> it's a very old book about, um, I think it might be about the fall of the British Empire, actually. There we go. There's a few close together there. Okay, oh, we've got quite a few in that one. So in this one, I'm not going to use the ruler, but I'm probably going to, um, I'm just going to use the, like curved lines to attach them all, I think. But just one curve rather than wiggly lines, I think is what I'm going to do for this one. Um, what are we using? Uh, oh, Pinkie Pie has joined as well, excellent. 
using local paper, so farming articles. Ah, looking for word lambs. Excellent, excellent stuff. Yeah, that would that would be a really good one to do actually. Especially, yeah, lambing season just uh, just finished. Or finishing, it probably is. Yeah, it's probably finished by now, isn't it? Ooh, I like this one. I like the curved lines. So can you see what I'm doing there? So instead of doing the straight lines, I'm literally just doing one curve from one point to the next. Um, I might trace this one just to show you guys how that looks traced. Again, this is just all about informing. A painting or a pattern and getting that abstract design because I know some people especially when they come to the studio can find um doing something abstract or doing an abstract painting that they would really love to do but actually find it really hard to get into that mindset of <laughs> I've got a big blank piece of paper in front of me or canvas in front of me what what am I gonna do to it what am I gonna put on it um, so people find it really hard to get into that kind of abstract mind so doing kind of little games like this where it just helps you find a pattern, find a design, and um, to start an abstract painting can really help that process. Um, and it's good fun as well. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, trace, I've got a little piece of uh, butcher's paper here. So I'm just gonna put that over the top um, and then trace that design so that we've just got the pattern. I'm not gonna do the, uh, the circles either. Keep still, keep still. There we go. Actually, I love working with this um, butcher's paper as well. It's really nice to work with. And paint on top of. You get a completely different feel with a different, different piece of paper. Different type of paper. There we go. That is my pattern. So that is my finished pattern. that's come from that. <laughs> Lynn's just gone abstract. Yes, I know, I know. But see, this is what I mean about abstract. People can find abstract really, really tricky and really hard. Um, but actually doing, doing things like this where you can find those kind of patterns and then transferring that to a canvas or a piece of paper and then picking colors that you know go together and using those shapes that you've created to make an abstract painting can really, really help. It can really work well. Um, love doing those. So you can also do kind of a couple on top of each other if you wanted to. Um, oh, I like the look of that actually. Just placing that one on top of the other one. Hopefully you can see that. Absolutely. Um, so if you wanted to then, so I've used uh, countries in this one, but if you wanted to then use a letter a particular letter or, or a different theme you could also do that and use a different color over the top um if you didn't think it was enough or it was a big enough pattern it's a really nice way of working really really love way of working it's a good um good surrealist game to do um so i'm going to take photos of these and i might um i might transpose that onto a bit of tracing paper as well um and i might do another one so tomorrow, what have we got? I'm joining Olivia is joining all the dots together. Excellent, excellent. And take pictures, take pictures of, of your finished piece. Um, it'd be really, really nice to see how they come out. Um, so tomorrow, in celebration of VE Day, it's the 75th anniversary of VE Day, marking the end of uh, the Second World War in Europe. Um, we're going to be making tomorrow our very own Union flag. And we're going to be using all sorts of mixed media for it. So any pens, any paints, any um, glue, craft bits, anything you can in red, white and blue, um, bring with you and as large a piece of paper as you can find. Um, that's what we'll be working on tomorrow. It might be, as I was saying about working on different papers, it might be something like this, it's like a butcher's paper. Um, or like a big wide, um, big sheet newspaper. Um, 
something like that and that you've got would be really cool to work on as well it doesn't just have to be plain paper um and that's what we're going to do that's what we're going to do tomorrow so i'm going to be live on here um as well as live on southborough street so either or whichever page um you should be able to find me at two o'clock still tomorrow uh next week we're going to be doing some more paper craft stuff i promise it won't be as hard as the um stars that we were folding and there was something else that we folded last week. oh the flowers we did didn't we the last time we did paper craft i promise it won't be as hard as that but we're going to make things like um some paper toys um, and using different crafts to create more uh, miniature book types. So we, we did that last time, didn't we? I think we created a little mini um, comic book, little mini magazine. Um, so we'll be using different ways of doing that as well. So don't forget to take photographs of your finished piece. I want to see all your end topic graphomanias um, to create your designs. And if you paint on top of it or draw on top of it afterwards as well, um, do take pictures of that as well, it would be really nice to see it. I think I might go over some of this in some watercolour paints um, just to see what it comes out like. Uh, and I will post obviously the finished results underneath as well for you guys. That's it for today, that's it. Thank you so much for doing all this um, expressive drawing this week. It's really about using different tips, different exercises, different games to get you outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Um, get you thinking a little bit more abstract and thinking just about the mark making, not creating something that looks perfect. Um, it's just about the marks. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you tomorrow at 2pm where we'll make a union flag. See you then, guys. Bye.